cast ashore. She is this mysterious, feral badass. When we first meet Hester, she's a girl that's been hurt badly and, you know, she's had a, a hard time getting to where she is. I think we see her actually kind of blossom into the person that she will become. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Hester Shaw is the key to the whole story. She's the only reason I went on to write sequels. It's very much about her journey. Valentine. This is for my mother. I'd probably be very uncomfortable if I met her. She's unpredictable and scary. Hester Shaw is really one of the most amazing sort of modern characters we've ever written, I think. And action! She's this child who had everything taken away from her and was raised by this emotionless creature who has done everything he can to protect her. I mean, she grew up with Shrike, who's not really a, a fully formed human being with emotions and warmth to him in the way that she would have grown up with living with her mother or a father. She didn't get a normal childhood. But funnily enough, she got what she needed. It gave her strength and resilience and a sense of how fragile those connections are that we make with other people and how precious they are. That's what I like about you, your boundless sense of empathy. What did you say? I think she values truth and people standing by their word and doing what they say they will do. And I think betrayal is something that she's really had to struggle with. She's forced to engage with Tom, and that's kind of where we slowly start to see the cracks and, and, and what's underneath. We were struggling to find Hester. We hadn't found Hester. And then in the 11th hour, this audition comes through from Hera Hilma, from Iceland. We just had a Skype call with her and we cast her without even meeting her. She's got an incredibly enigmatic quality to her, a bit like Ingrid Bergman, you know, that type of a classic actor. And she's able to fit into that role like love. It's, um, it's really interesting to see now. None of us were prepared for how amazing she was. None of us realized actually what a gift we'd found. The people who created them were insane. Oh, shut up! He saved my life. There's no doubt in your mind that she's ruthless, wild. Hera just brings passion and intensity to it, and it was a real joy. Someone was said to me that they always felt like this film was about how we've run this big scar into the earth with all the traction towns and everything. We've left the whole earth scarred from our lifestyle. And I think in many ways, Hester is the female representation of that. We have such a sexist paradigm of storytelling that all our heroes have to be male. And, and look, I just think it's awesome that we have a character like Hester Shaw who is so strong and so wild and so driven. Three, two, one! It definitely was a physically and emotionally demanding role. <laughs> I remember someone asking me, like, did you train for it? And I feel like that has become a sort of used question in these sort of big films. Like, it's all about the training. To me, it was very important, actually, that Hester isn't someone who's been, like, trained, that I am an actor that has been trained to be her. I think the whole point of Hester is that she's a normal girl. She's someone who's been able to adapt really well to survival, but not in a way that, you know, has been taught by some kind of master. And I think that's what's really great about Hester. Hester.